Okay, so can we go in here? No, 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 no. Why did we go up there? So, despite where I saved, we're going to have to cut through a ton of Cappadocians again, I feel. Shouldn't be terrible, I guess. We just have to take... And we just have to go up. Hello, ma'am. Let's go. Stop talking about the grave. You're the only one who's going in there. Or Wilhelm could just chase after you. Okay, at least he got you on the first try. See, I get upset with Wilhelm sometimes because he just runs off and gets stabbed. Like he just did. We got her? There we go. There we go. Let's grab a silver ring. I guess Wilhelm could give it. We've got him coming. Let's take this boy out. Shouldn't be too bad. A little more. Okay, he's dead. What do we got next? I kind of want to like use a little bit of potence. Let's go. I feel all powerful. Okay, maybe using potence at this point in time wasn't the best idea. Actually, no. We're putting in work. Everything's dying. And we got one more zombie to take out. So, what did we learn today? Potence is pretty powerful. Vampiric super strength is actually useful, believe it or not. Uh, is this gold? Yeah, we'll pick up that gold. We gotta pick up that gold. Let's grab that right there, right quick. We got over here. Scroll of Awaken. Okay, we'll give that to Wilhelm. We're gonna need that for him. Because he likes doing dumb stuff. If y'all know who Wilhelm, that Wilhelm is, he likes doing dumb things. Um... So we need to figure out how to open this. Okay. Hmm. We gotta figure out how to open those doors. There should be something around here. First, I guess we'll take on whatever's over here. Hello there, Mr. Cappadocian. Do they have any? Okay, so they've only got one skeleton out here. And we should be able to take care of this Cappadocian pretty easily. There we go. Now if we go over here. Now to find the key that unlocks the secrets of the dead. Thank you. So now we only need the key to unlock. Is the Star David? Nope. Okay. So he's not the Star of David. Fun fact, the Cappadocians were not very choosy in who they actually embraced. By by choosy I mean basically race, religion. They're very open-minded, as long as you have some inklings or feelings towards the undead, whether you were a mortician, a grave robber, yada yada, they were completely fine with you. That is actually why we have a Star of David here in this area. Actually, I find it interesting that so many of the vampiric sects are actually, well not blood, bloodlines I should say, or clans, clans. We shouldn't say bloodlines. Are really cool with people of other religions. Even the Asimites are pretty okay with it. They really put themselves as a clan first as opposed to religion first. The Asimites are mostly uh, Middle Eastern in origin. So yeah, they're pretty cool with everybody. So, there has to be something around here. I know there is. I know there is. Maybe like a 20... This is gonna be like a 20 man hunt for something. Alright, what do we got? Where do you are? Um. Like, I know there's something around here. Felt so dumb for not realizing it the last time I was here. There's like. I wanna say. 
there's something. Something that we can pull to open this. And now I feel like I'm playing in a point and click adventure game. Um, Wilhelm, stop, stop glitching. Stop getting caught on stuff, man. You're making all the Bruja look bad. Um, I guess maybe I'm wrong? Uh, I didn't want to do that. Did not want to do that. So we're just going to use potence up. And I guess grab some silver coins while we're at it. You know what? Grab some more gold coins. Hmm. What is it that we've missed? There's Mercurio's door. Have we gone through here? would open up with the Star of David. Assuming a name somewhere would just tell us. Do we have any actual... We've got Torch. We've got Star of David. Um, I'm guessing the Star of David might actually have some type of holy power. Which would be nice. We've got Spike Mace. We can't really use it. Scroll of Strength, uh, Scroll of Walk the Abyss, Scroll of Awakens, kind of cool. Um, huh. how am I going to get in here? Let's go back up again. So both of these doors are barred. How can we open them? There we go. Would you look at that? There's a secret switch. Isn't that lovely? So I'm pretty sure if I save here, it'll still send me back to where I was before. Let's use slot three. Stupid, yeah, secret switches. That's, uh, yeah, easy to find that. Okay, let's go up and see what's happening. Are there any more Cappadocians? Hello, Cappadocians, we've come to play. So we're we're going to pull these guys. I'm not I'm not running into the Cappadocians. Okay, nice. So what I think I'm going to do is actually Okay, this is bad. Are you kidding me? I am weak with lack of precious blood. Okay, is Kristoff actually going to face off against all of these Cappadocians by himself? Can I grab one of them to feed off of? Okay, we got one. Let's get to Wilhelm. Open the door. Oh, that sucks. Okay, we, we have a problem. We have a problem, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, fight me. Okay, the door opened. So now Wilhelm can get over here. It's lazy self. Um, Wilhelm may need to use potence. Okay, so we've got one guy over there. Do we have anyone up here? Uh, 
Come on, Wilhelm, and then Kristoff will come in for, of course, the kill. Because Kristoff's that type of dude. Okay. How else are we going to handle this? Um, should he use blood healing on himself? He should be able to. There we go. Alright. So we're feeling alright. We're feeling okay. Shouldn't... Oh, non-kindred only, yeah. Hmm, where do we go from here? We could go down, or we could go up. Let's see what happens if we go up. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Okay, this is not good. Wait, dude, 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 why are you going after Wilhelm? Okay, now they're just biting each other. This is bad. Let's go walk the abyss, scroll the awaken. Are both of them dead? Okay, that was a problem. Okay. So we're just outside the monastery, or at least we're outside here. So our save kind of worked. I feel like we should apply the same strategy that we had before. We're going to, we're just going to wipe the floor with these two zombies. And then we're gonna kind of chill. Because our biggest issue, I guess, is the archer. Because we're going to have to fight a battle on two sides. And that's just... Gonna cause problems. Hello, ma'am. Screw it. Hit that potence. Dude, I love Poden so much. Let's cut them into tiny little chunks. Come on, come on, come on, die! Die, you necromancer. Okay, so we're gonna go down instead of up and see where this leads. Ooh. Alright. So yeah, this is the way that we need to go. Well, it's nice that they, this is a well-designed maze. I will give the game creators credit for that. That's pretty dope. So we're going to save again over slot three. It's okay. Okay. Because now we have a big problem. Wilhelm is going to need to heal himself, and I really want him to get that potence going. Blood. Oh, Willem! Will Willem! What are you doing, dog? Okay, yeah, we have a problem here. The beast roars with So there's there's only three opponents. There's only three opponents. Our issue is oh he's frenzying. He's either frenzying or diseased. So there's three there's three enemies. Why can't we beat three enemies? It's because we're playing this dumb, and we've also kind of missing some powers. I wish we had some arrows left. That would be perfect. So if we could get Wilhelm to move forward, I wonder if Celerity might be fantastic here. Okay, draw their attention. Now run! Oh, 
Okay, as long as we can take this Cappadocian out, we have a fighting chance. Come on, Wilhelm. You can do it. Okay. Okay, so as long as we have Wilhelm back here, we can put in work. Christoph, what are you doing? Okay, good job, guys. Now, now somebody's going to have to pull back. And we're going to have Christoph move forward since he actually knows how to use a freaking bow. Okay. We can pick up this gold here. More silver, that's alright. Actually, wait, where is... where? Where's the arrows? Okay, hold on. Christoph, move to the side over here. Oh, is that another one? Christoph! Watch out, bro! She's behind you! Okay, Cappadocian's almost done. Okay, she's down. And we got this Cappadocian dude to take out. We got it this time. Oh, or maybe... Okay, we got it, we got it, we got it. Kristoff at your back. And this is... A mural? Cool. A key. A key in the form of a finger bone. Okay. That looks... Slightly morbid, but hey, it's all good. We got it. We got it. I'm also noticing that the color is significantly different from my screen to what I'm going to put up. I'm assuming that has to do with just how I got the game to run. Which may or may not have involved certain wizardry and me praying to certain <laughs> eldritch gods. Alright, we got the key. We're doing good. Wait, 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 JB, you're forgetting. You're forgetting RPG rules. Every time, every time you make... Like, some good progress. Save, man. Save. Okay. We got saved. Like I said, I'm still... Actually, I probably haven't said this yet. The Cappadocians had a separate bloodline of bodyguards. Because they, they're kind of scholars. They aren't the best in a fight. And they did have bodyguards who were quite intriguing. Okay, so we got this guy coming through. He's got like normal vampire strength. We don't, we don't, we're Bruja. We don't worry about that. Or as our sire said, Bruja. Okay, we almost got him. Jesus Christ. Blood. I crave blood. Okay, we got, we're frenzied. Could you. Wait, are they going to like. Okay, we'll 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 fix him up in a minute. We gotta kill this guy. Okay, first and foremost, blood heal. Uh, that's the scroll of blood strength. Do we have the scroll of awakening? I am awake. Okay, Kristoff's aw Wilhelm's awake, and he has severe blood issues. Okay, that's not good. Christoph, I, I don't know what you're doing here, dog. Uh, disease, anybody's got diseases? No diseases. So we're going to heal, if only we could heal him. Oh, he failed it. Okay, it worked. Okay. That, that almost got us killed. Okay, we're gonna stay here, and we're gonna let them come to us, right? Let her come to us. Don't, don't rush the issue. Oof. Yeah, they're hitting harder now, ladies and gentlemen. Nice. What the heck is that? Okay, that's a zombie. Um, I kind of want to go further down and see what they have here. I feel like there have to be some riches. Let's just go down and survey the area. Oh, we have a potion. Yes. But let's double back because Kristoff might get... Wilhelm might get attacked. Okay, we're good. So we're going to pass this off to Wilhelm. Well, mostly because he needs it. Okay. 
So now Wilhelm could blood heal himself. Okay. You blood heal yourself. Okay. Good. So that really helped. Do they have anything else down here? Okay, this guy put down potents or something on himself. Doesn't really matter at the end of the day. Okay. Let's go back up. Oh! Haha! -ha. We got some higher quality blood, okay. Actually, let's take a look at that for a second. That is... Unknown. Okay. So, some blue blood. I'm assuming because, supposedly, in if my lore from Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines is right, blood... The quality of blood varies from people. The better life that you had... The better life that you had, well, in life, the healthier you were as a person does actually affect the quality of blood you get. Or you could just be like the Nosferatu and start chomping on vampires. Not vampires, on rats all day. The good stuff. You can actually sustain yourself entirely off of those types of creatures. Off of rats and just animals, but it's not really that... It's slightly frowned upon in vampire society. Oh, we opened this treasure chest up. What do we got? A skull cap. Give that to Kristoff. I mean, Wilhelm. We're taking the rubies. The skull of Lamia. My newest child, Mercury, okay, what's up? Has proved a tainted blessing. Hmm. Though he is ambitious and untrustworthy, he has added much to the protection of this house. He drinks the power of death with an unquenchable thirst and could become the greatest student of the grave. But he hath little respect for our ancient alliances with the other canines and could reawaken old feuds. The ungrateful puppy even seeks to seal his crypt from me. Does he not know that I can crack his sealed crypt at any time with my anointed skull of the Lamia? Alas, but I do require Mercurio's aid until such time as I can fathom the secrets of the golem and gain its protection. I would that I had the lore of Rabbi Mordecai ben Judah to aid my experiments, but as I lack the wisdom of the Kabbalists, I would deal with the devil himself in these parlous times. Well, I think I know where we're going next. Hold on one second. I just realized that I do have a slight... Um, let me just turn this up. Okay, so my furious clicking should be abated. I apologize to anyone who's had to deal with my furious clicking, but... Thank you for- I love the fact that that's voiced! So many people don't do if that. Curio is charged with the protection of this heathen, I wonder that we have not yet faced him. I would have words with this Mercurio. Venerable Garonel should not have to rely upon an untrustworthy child. You mean, considering the fact that we just broke into his haven and killed like 50 dudes? What beast once wore this skull upon its neck? Very good question. I don't think we really want to know. But also you notice that he said rabbi. They do implore, like I said before, they do implore pretty much everyone. They, they're not essentially choosy. But now we can get into Mercurio's lair. So this is going to be fun. We're going to have to save big time before we hit that. Because if I'm correct, oh no, he shouldn't be that bad. So I was wondering if maybe Mercurio might be the guy who has the bodyguard bloodline watching his back but even if so we should be fine i mean we're two bruja what's in here yes with with blood despair do we do we drink the unknown no we don't drink the unknown we'll, we'll pop a little bit of this we'll put the disease vaccine down we'll pop a little bit of that and we will heal ourselves up again Okay, fails. There we go. Okay. He's a little bit too much that time. Could have been better. Could have been worse. I will not save here just so we can keep up. What? How comes up here? 
Flee now, and the great Mercurio will not smite thee. So, hiding like a rat in a hole, whilst thy mm. kin fight valiantly in defense of thy theft, mm. thou art the cloth pole of a coward. I hide not. My work is too important. Work thou hast interrupted. I shall crack open the tree of life and uncover all the secrets of death and life. We shall see. Canst thou restore a mortal life to a vampire? I shall tell thee the secrets of death and life. Give us the nod fragment and we shall set thee... We'll let thee live. No, we can't let them live. Like, we literally cannot let them live because if we peace out... They're going to know it was the Bruja who came through here and did what we did. Can thou restore mortal life Can to a vampire? Can thou restore mortal life to a vampire? Soon, very soon, I shall have such secrets. Smite thy Bruja ally, and thou shalt be the first to be restored when the secrets of death are mine. Nay, thou art false. Give us the nod fragment, or my blade shall teach thee the secrets of death. So, at this point in time, we could actually kill Wilhelm and betray the entire Bruja clan, or Bruja clan. This is kind of nuts. So, if we do kill him, what'll happen? Will Mercurio be our ally? Hmm. Well, we're not going to do it because Bruja or Blue Bruja. Nay, thou art false. Give us the nod fragment, or my blade shall teach thee the secrets of death. Nay, thou art false. Give us the nod fragment, or my blade shall teach thee the secrets of death. Nay, thou wilt tell Garanol of my theft. It is better thou bury thee in a secret grave. Oh, so he stole it. Provoke, piercing thy heart, and a wraith worm shall hollow out thy noble brows and robust cheeks. Okay, that was actually... Okay, we need this potence going on. Okay, he's working kind of hard right now. Um, Odin's. I am weak with lack of precious blood. Wait, is this guy really this tough? No way. Mercurio. What? Okay, hold on. That was... that was nuts. Let's load before we get into Mercurio's place. Let's get this blood. It was not blood, it is now a holy cross. Okay, we've got problems. Problems, problems. Okay. So we only have a little bit of blood, and sadly we can't really do much with this holy cross. Uh, we've got issues. Um, you. You have a shield. You have a halberd. Do we have a weapon that you could use? We could give him... Damage 20, damage 20. We could give him an exquisite dagger, and have him fight instead of polearm. Hmm... I still don't know about that, though. Can we stake him? I would assume, what else do we do to a vampire? We gotta stake him. Um, he's a silver ring. Skull cap. Does our boy have a skull cap? Our boy's got a skull cap. He's got everything. Okay, so I guess we'll have Kristoff drink the blood. And then he can heal himself up. Heal himself up one more time. Um, he's good. But I think we'll hit Potence. And let's get ready for it. What? How comes up here? 
Flee now, and the great Mercurio will not smite thee. Yes, 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 so the great Mercurio. Like in a hole, whilst I can fight valiantly in defense of thy theft. Thou art the cloth pole of a coward. I hide not. My work is too important. Work thou hast interrupted. I shall crack open the tree of life and uncover all the secrets of death and life. Can now restore mortal life to a vampire. Can thou restore mortal life to a vampire? Oh, I love this. Soon, very soon I shall have such secrets. Smite thy bruiser ally, and thou shalt be the first to be restored when the secrets of death are mine. Nay, thou art false. Nay, thou art false. Give us the nod fragment, or my blade shall teach thee the secrets of death. Nay. Thou wilt tell Garen all of my theft. Tis better I bury thee in a secret grave, with stakes ah. of oak piercing thy heart, and a wraith worm shall hollow out thy noble that's, brows and robust cheeks. That's legit. Ah. Okay, we we get we got a problem. We we get we got a problem here. Let's try to figure out what's going on. Cause this is this is kind of mental.